Right, so this question is about diagonals in parallelograms. A parallelogram is a shape that has two sides that are parallel. So this is what we typically think of as how, uh, being a parallelogram. These two sides are parallel. These lines go on and on forever and will never meet up. And in maths, what we usually do to show that these lines are parallel, we put a little arrow through them. And that tells you that these two lines are parallel. I can't put one arrow through these lines because they're not parallel to this one. But I can show that this, these two lines are parallel by putting two arrows through. And it shows me that the ones with two arrows are also parallel to one another. So parallelogram is when two opposite sides of a shape, a four-sided shape, are parallel to one another. So we can really say that a rectangle is a form of a parallelogram as well. This is a rectangle where these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel. Here's a square where these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel. And here is a rom where the lines are both parallel but also the same length. And that's a rom. The question here is draw the diagonals and have a little look at them. Investigate what happens with the diagonals. So let's do that. We'll draw the nice bright colour of red. And we draw a diagonal by taking from one corner to the other corner and trying to cut through the corners as neatly as we can. From one corner to the other corner. And we do the same with the rectangle, from one corner up to the other corner. So that's what a diagonal is. A diagonal is always going from one corner to the other corner, unless it's in a circle, and then it must go from one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle, through the middle point. So diagonals go through middle points, you can say. And then we have our square here. So once we've drawn our diagonals, they're wondering if you can investigate the properties of these diagonals. And the first question is, which of the diagonals cross at right angles? Well, I think we can see that the square, that looks very much like a right angle, doesn't it? And if we measure this with a protractor, we can see that this one extends up here to 90 degrees. So we can say that the square definitely has a right angle in the middle. We can see that a square is made up of four right angles where all the diagonals cross one another. We can also see that here, this looks very similar to a right angle as well. Let's extend one of these diagonals so we can actually measure it with our protractor. So if we measure the angle in the centre of our rhomb, we can see that we get an angle of 90 degrees. We have, so when it's a rhomb, there's also the diagonals cross at an angle of 90 degrees. Because the lengths are all the same, the angles are all going to be the same. So we get this 90 degree cross. So the fact that the ROM has a parallelogram with all the same lengths shows us that we get 90 degrees. But what about here? This doesn't look at all like 90 degrees, does it? This is a very much smaller angle than 90 degrees, but notice it's exactly the same as that one. So these two angles are the same angle. So if this one is here is angle A, this one here is going to be angle A too. We can measure them with a protractor and prove that they're going to have the same length. So opposite angles of straight lines are identical to one another. This one here is neither 90 degrees either, so, but it is maybe called, we could call it angle B. And you can see that the opposite angle on, uh, on here is also exactly the same number of degrees. It's also going to be angle B. So what we can say about angles that are, per that are opposite sides of, of two straight lines and where they cross, they're the same. So measure that in your books and check that you get that. And when we have a parallelogram here, well it looks quite similar to 90 degrees, but I don't think it 
can be because the lengths are different. So let's actually extend one of these angles up so that we can measure whether the angle on this parallelogram is 90 degrees and we can see it's way off 90 degrees. If, if it had been 90 degrees it would have been up here and instead of it being 90 degrees we have 100, 110, we have almost 120 degrees there. So this one is not a right angle but it will be the same as the opposite angle again because all intersecting lines cross and give you the same angle. Let's call that one A this time. And, or let's call it, let's give it another letter because it's not going to be the same angle as that. Let's call it angle C, whereas this one here we could call angle D. And those two will be the same. So now we've investigated the angle, uh, the angles of these four different parallelograms. What's the, uh, do the diagonals cross in the middle point of the shape? Well, I think we can see that the diagonals do cross in the middle point of each of the shapes. If we were to spin around these, so we can say that the diagonals do cross in the middle point of that shape, even though they're not all symmetrical. This one has an incredible a lot of symmetry lines, has symmetry on this side, uh, one symmetry line, two symmetry lines. If we put a line there, we've got another symmetry line on, a, on the square, and a line there, we've got another symmetry line. It means if we were to put a mirror here, then it would look exactly the same on the top as it would on the bottom. If we were to put a mirror here, we'd get the reflection of the square in the other side. That's what symmetry line means. You've got, it's like a reflection, a perfect reflection. This re rectangle doesn't have a symmetry line there. It's not a symmetry line at all. Uh, because if we were to put a mirror here, it wouldn't look identical. We wouldn't get that whole shape of the rectangle. It would, it would uh, um, uh, be, be different. So, you know, we, we've, got, we've got our different symmetry lines and we've got our middle points. So we can um, look at that. Here we have a rectangle. Here we have a parallelogram. Here we have a parallelogram that is also a rom. Here we have a parallelogram that's also a rectangle. And here we have a square that is a parallelogram, but also a rectangle as well. A square is a form of a rectangle because a rectangle is just a four-sided figure, whereas a square is also a four-sided figure with a 90-degree angle in all of the corners, but the lengths are the same. So a square can also be considered a form of a rectangle in the same way that a square can also be considered to be a form of a parallelogram as well. So understanding these concepts in maths is quite important.